It's only February, but many are gearing up for spring and summer youth sports. Coaches in Moundsville will have to take an extra step this year, one that local officials hope will keep kids safe. News 9's Gage Golding reports. For leagues and teams looking to use athletic fields here in the city of Moundsville, they have new requirements for coaches to meet before they can take the mound, leading the next generation of young athletes. We want to be proactive instead of having to be active after the fact. That idea spurred Moundsville city officials to implement the new policy, which requires any coach using the city's fields to go through a background check. The checks will be conducted through JDP, a Pittsburgh-based employment services company. These will be done online by the coaches individually. City officials aren't looking for the coach's latest speeding ticket, but instead a much more serious crime. Our big target is going to be um, sexual problems with youth. And if a red flag is found during the check? We have a three-person confidential committee that will meet and determine if that flag is an issue or not. Background checks will cost the city between seven and ten dollars per coach. Ten dollars a coach is nothing to make sure the kids are safe. To cover the cost, the city is increasing the lease agreement between teams in the city from seventy-five dollars to eighty dollars for the entire season. And one of the reasons behind the push for checks is the expected influx of people coming into the Moundsville area with a proposed cracker plant on the other side of the Ohio River. We just want to make sure if there's anybody coming in or if there's something out there we're missing, we want to catch it before there's a problem. We want to get out in front of the problem. Healy telling me that he thinks the city will be able to recoup the cost of the background check program over the course of the next couple of years. Reporting in Moundsville for News 9, I'm Gage Golding.